Hello friends, this video on neat evolution is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 26. Identify the correct sequence in which the following substances have appeared during the course of evolution of life on earth. Glucose, amino acids, nucleic acids, proteins, ammonia, amino acids, proteins, nucleic acids, water, amino acids, nucleic acids, enzymes or amino acids, ammonia, phosphates, nucleic acids. <coughs> Now, if we talk about the uh, history of evolution of earth, so it happened stepwise. So in the first phase, the simple molecules were formed. Now, when I say simple molecules, what kind of simple molecules like water, ammonia, in fact, water and ammonia were the first few molecules that were formed during the formation of earth. This was followed by other simple molecules like carbon dioxide, nitrogen, etc., methane. Now, the next phase was formation of simple organic molecules. So, organic means anything that contains carbon. So, simple organic molecules like simple sugars. Simple sugars would include something like glucose, amino acids, fatty acids, nitrogenous bases like purines, pyrimidines. So all of these were part of the second phase where simple organic molecules were formed. And then the third phase, in the third phase, complex organic molecules were formed. So complex organic molecules included polysaccharides like uh, it, it could include the disaccharides or the polysaccharides like starch, cellulose. It included proteins which were formed by uh, collection of amino acids. It also included the nucleotides and the nucleic acids. So all of these were formed in the third phase. So now that we know these three phases of formation, let's see which is the correct one. Now anything that starts with glucose or amino acid, no that would not be because as I said ammonia and water were the first formed uh, elements. So either B or C should be the correct one because they have ammonia and water as the first thing. Then you have amino acids, okay, in both B and C you have amino acids. Then you have proteins here and here you have nucleic acids. Now when you compare <coughs> proteins with nucleic acids, so even though proteins, nucleic acids, they all were formed during phase 3 because they all are complex organic molecules. But if you look at the formation of proteins, proteins were formed by collection of many amino acids. But nucleic acids were formed by combination of nitrogenous base with sugar with phosphoric acid. So that formed nucleotide and when many such nucleotides combined it formed nucleic acid. So basically nucleic acid is like one step ahead of proteins. So proteins were formed by combination of many amino acids. Nucleic acids were formed by combination of many nucleotides but nucleotide itself is a complex organic molecule. So nucleotide in turn was formed by combination of a nitrogenous base, a phosphoric acid and a pentose sugar. So nucleic acid is like one step ahead. So the right option would be B. First ammonia, then amino acids, then proteins and then nucleic acids. Question number 27. The presence of gill slits in the embryos of all vertebrates supports the theory of biogenesis, recapitulation, metamorphosis, organic evolution. So obviously, it is the theory of biogenesis as we have learned before that biogenesis tells that ontogeny repeats phylogeny. So here the same thing happens. So during embryogenesis, when the embryos uh, grow and develop that's embryogenesis which is ontogeny life history of an organism there you see gill slits so gills are present in the fishes so it shows that evolutionary relationship between the vertebrates and the fishes so this is biogenesis question number 28 which one does not favor Lamarckian concept of inheritance of acquired characters okay so what is Lamarckian concept so Lamarckian concept tells us that it, it has few postulates like it says that there, there exists an internal vital force. It says that environment influences organisms. It also says that any organ which is used constantly gets better while the one which is not used gets degenerated. And last but not the least it says that all acquired characters get inherited. So that's Lamarckian concept. Now let's look at the examples which are given here. Lack of pigment in cave dwellers. 
So does this support Lamarckian concept? Yes, it supports. Absence of limbs and snakes. Yes, this also supports. Like it's, it's something like the snakes never used their limbs. So it was not used. So it got degenerated. Presence of webbed toes in aquatic birds. Yes, that is also an example of Lamarckian concept. Melanization of peppered moth in industrial areas. Well, melanized moths are not really a result of Lamarckian concept. So why the moths got melanized? Why were they black in color? Because their black color were able to protect them from their predators. Like you, you see in the picture, so when the surroundings are black, because industrial revolution me meant a lot of uh, suits and industrial emissions coming out from everywhere. So the backgrounds generally were black in color. Now if the Moths were also melanized, that is if they were also dark in color, they kind of camouflaged with the black backgrounds and this helped them to hide from their predators, right? So this was the concept. I mean, this particular trait of moths helped them to survive better, helped them in protection. So melanization of moth was not an example of the Lamarckian concept. Question number 29. Frequency of a character increases when it is recessive, dominant, inheritable, adaptable. So this obviously increases when it is adaptable. Why? Because as per Darwin's theory, variations are continuous. Variations keep happening all the time. But only those variations which are helpful in adaptation of an organism towards its surroundings would be passed on to the next generation. <laughs> Let's talk about the giraffe. Now, so many variations keep happening in the life cycle of a giraffe, right? Like in the population of giraffes. Now, so one of those variations was this long neck. But this long neck proved to be something which helped the giraffe to adapt to its surroundings better. It helped it to survive better. And that is why the long neck trait of the giraffe got passed on to the next generation. So the frequency of this character, frequency of the long neck character increased when it is adaptable. Question number 30. Theory of natural selection dwells on role of environment in evolution, natural selection acting on favorable variations, changes in gene complex resulting in heritable variations, none of the above. So natural selection, it means that nature selects the best and survival of the fittest so whichever is the best or whichever thing is favorable for that particular organism to survive that is supported by nature that is the basic theory of natural selection so obviously option b would be correct because natural selection always acts on favorable variation so as i said the example of giraffe is the perfect example question number 31 correct order is so here we have different eras, different uh, periods. So as we have discussed that there were many different eras since uh, the formation of this earth, since the formation of life forms. So let us look at the various eras. So let us first write the eras. So starting from the very beginning, the first era was the pre-Cambrian era. Next was Paleozoic, which was followed by Mesozoic which in turn was followed by Cenozoic. So these were the various eras. So Pre-Cambrian era was around 570 to 4600 million years ago. So just imagine how, I mean, we are talking about such a long back time. Paleozoic era is often called the era, era of ancient life. Mesozoic era is called the era of medieval life. And Cenozoic era is called the era of modern life. So these are the various eras. Now pre-Cambrian era was further divided into three sub-eras. What were they? Proterozoic, Archaeozoic, and Azoic. So what are these eras basically? So era is nothing but division of geological time with each era consisting of various periods. Now under each of these era, like under Paleozoic era, again you have different periods. Like under the Cenozoic era or the modern life, again you have uh, different periods like the Pleistocene, Pliocene, Miocene, Oligocene, etc. So like that under each era you will have uh, various periods as well. 
So here in this case, which is the correct order? Paleozoic, Archaeozoic, Cenozoic. Well, this is not the correct order because Archaeozoic was before Paleozoic. Again, Archaeozoic, Paleozoic, Proterozoic. That is also not correct because Proterozoic was before Paleozoic. Paleozoic, Mesozoic, Cenozoic. Well, this is correct because Paleozoic, then Mesozoic, then Cenozoic. So option C is right. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.